Good afternoon. I'm Justin. This is Art Talk 101. <laughs> Today we're gonna paint. You guys ready? Okay. Here we go. I'll just. <laughs> I figured I would just show you how I do this. Uh, I get some questions from people. How do you do this? How do you do that? Well, everybody, there's no rhyme or reason. Everybody has a different way of doing art. And I'm sure other artists might judge the way that I do it. I didn't go to school. I'm like self-taught. And it's just something I, I like to do. It's part of me. Um, it's not always about going to a specialty school and learning different tips and tricks. You know, it's about your mind, your hand. I... I don't, you just gotta be good, so, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyways, um, so on this, I just drip the paint on, because I feel like time is energy. I don't want to spend, I already spend a lot of time doing art, I mean, it takes a lot out of you. So, you're racing against the clock. I throw the paint on, and it's just, let's go. You gotta throw down a background, and I do it in stages. I think background first. Colorful, textured, let it dry, and then you pick whatever you want as an image for the top of that. An animal, a person, whatever. So I just try to lay this down really quick. So just follow along and enjoy. That sounds stupid, I know, it's fine. Because I'm on, I'm on TV all the time, you know, I'm used to it, whatever. Not really. So I just work lightest to dark, and then I try to save my black for last, and then I just kind of work that in over the layers, the strips of color. It don't have to be perfect. Don't overthink it. People tend to overthink art too much. They get, oh, look, it's all about the detail, you know, and then a lot of times you can ruin stuff that way because you just overthink it. Randomness is good. Think about that. Random is good. I just work pink in. Yeah, I like pink, man. That's right. I'm a dude. I'll say it. I like pink. Nice. Look at that. Pink's my favorite color. So I went to the gym today. I had way too much caffeine. So just follow along. Bear with me. Uh, I'll grab some of the other colors and then put them back. Just work them in the middle. I'll go back here to green. Throw a little bit down here. And then I'll just blend it. Work it back and forth, but not too much because you might blend it too much. And then I'll grab this black and then I'll just make strips because you don't want the black to overcome the rest of the canvas. That's already pretty bold, but I'm just going to keep working with it because I have a lot of on my canvas. And that's okay. You can save some for happy little trees or whatever you want to do later. Throw my black in here and grab some more. Throw it in right there. Not too much. Just a little bit, blend it. Grab some more, throw it over here with the purple. Grab some blue, throw it back this way. Grab some green, put it in here. Grab some gold, put it in here. And then I just blend it, you know, work it together. And if I feel like it's starting to look dull, that's okay, we got more paint. So it's looking, it's not as bright anymore. I'm just gonna work this in here. So that doesn't pop enough for me. I'm gonna throw some like silver, uh, or this is champagne gold. This is one of my favorites. I'll just break up some of that black monotony real quick. Just bam, whatever. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, not bright enough, so purple, right? Every man likes purple. Ooh, look at that, it's coming together. I like it. 
We got a strip right there. What? Orange. Sure. Okay. Let's throw some orange in there. Why not? Grab some more. Fill in the little blank areas. Work it around. There's some up here. I don't want to burn up the orange. I want to try to save it as much as I can. There's this neon color. I'll just put it up in the corner. Because you got dark on this side, lighter on that side. Just kind